Okay, it is the evening. I am wearing my pajama pants, which have penguins on them. Funny story. Uh, my in-laws think that I love penguins. Uh, I don't think they realize that Tux, the mascot of Linux, is a penguin. But I think like a decade ago, they um, heard me say something about liking penguins because of Linux. And they didn't really get it, but I constantly get penguin gifts from them. But that's okay. Because I don't mind it. I, I like penguins, sure. Anyway, uh, me and my family, uh, a year ago we got um, year passes, annual passes to Universal Studios and Islands of Adventure. We live in Florida, we're only three hours away, so we like to go in the off season when there aren't very many lines. And uh, so there's a website, let me go ahead and flip over to the screen here, and you'll see, this is a script we're going to be creating in a moment. Uh, but here's the, the website. There's a website here that you can go to. It's an unofficial queue time, and they actually have uh, the ride wait times for lots of parks. Uh, but here's, uh, this is Universal Studios, which is currently closed, uh, but Islands of Adventures is still open, so you can see the ride times here. And, and this is the website I've used for us. You know, Universal Studio has their official app, but I'm not going to install some proprietary app just to see the times, uh, the wait times. Uh, I'm pretty sure this whole site, is, people submit times, but every time I've gone to the park, it's been pretty accurate because they'll have signs up around the park in certain places telling you the wait times and also outside the rides. And this has always been, and it updates fairly often. And you know what? It wasn't too bad if I click on a mobile view here. It actually looks kind of nice. I don't know if there's ads on here. I, I use Brave Browser. It looks like it blocked three ads, so there might be ads on here I'm not seeing. Overall, it's a pretty nice interface, but I kind of wanted to do my own, which is going to start off with a bash script. So uh, let's go out of mobile mode here. Let's go here. So this is the URL for Universal Studios. This one's for Islands of Adventure. Let's do Islands of Adventure since the, the park wait times are open. Again, this, this code that we're gonna create, I've already created it. It's up on Pastebin. Here's the URL. I will put that in the description of this video as well. But this is a really simple, we're just going to W get the page, both pages, and then use some stuff to strip out the information we don't want. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm gonna grab the Islands of Adventure here. And just as an example, I'm going to do a one-liner here. I'm going to say wget dash q capital O dash, which is just going to dump the HTML out to the uh, page here, out to our terminal. So I'm going to run that, and there we go. Now, uh, I can look through that and figure out what I need, but I've already done this. So uh, what I did here was I, I removed all new lines, and then I added new lines at uh, uh, the hyperlinks. And then I found hyperlinks that have uh, panel block in, I think that's the class name. And then here I'm just removing uh, the, I get um, some HTML encoding uh, when I pull it down uh, and I wanna convert those back, the ampersands and apostrophes into what they should be. And then we do some cutting. So let's go ahead and just do this one at a time so we can see what happens. So we take this last command, we'll pipe in into TR. TR can replace characters with another character. In this particular case, we're saying dash D, which just means delete, and backslash N is new line character. That's gonna put everything on one line for me. And that's gonna allow me to quickly, and there's lots of different ways you can do that, but now I'm gonna use said, and I'm just gonna again, if I say said, and I'm gonna find all the hyperlinks, so I'm gonna basically put all the hyperlinks, start new lines on hyperlinks. And then I am going to grep for ones that have the panel block class right here. And then I, again, I'm going to replace the HTML encoding, which is, uh, in this case, they use ampersands and apostrophes. There, there, is, uh, there are programs out there that can convert all HTML encoding to uh, standard ASCII. I guess it technically already is standard ASCII, but you know what I'm trying to say here. Um, but I just needed to replace those two characters. And there we go, we have a list. And um, I've also put in here, I'm dividing things up by uh, pipe symbols. And I did that right there. So this is actually a double said. So the second one's replacing apostrophes and then ampersands. Uh, this one's basically just removing the tags and replacing the spaces between the tags with pipe symbols. So now I have the names of the ride 
and I have whether they're closed or in some cases their times. Uh, they also, there's certain cases where it's showing what island on Islands of Adventure they're in. We're not going to worry about that. We're going to go one, two, three is the name of the ride. One, uh, four, five would be the time, and that's what I do here. So adding that to the end of our one liner, boom, we get a nice little list of a column with the ride name. And then on the other side of the pipe is the time or whether it's open or closed. Uh, so let's go ahead and create a script. We'll just call it wait times, wait times dot sh. And I will just copy and paste this code from Pastebin in there. And here I've created a variable called URLs. And actually, there's a better way to do this. I, I'm trying to get out of the habit of doing this, where I create a string variable and then I loop through each line. I really should be using arrays. In the future, I will be doing this less, hopefully. Uh, but basically, the, this is Universal Studios. This is Islands of Adventure. It's going to loop through both. It's going to do a wget for one and then do all the chopping and wget for two. And then we will make that executable, wait times. And then we will run that, and we have a syntax error in my copyright information. Oh, you know what, I probably, there, that's fine for now. Oh, and then we need our shebang line. I uh, pasted things in before I was in insert mode. There we go. And we have all our rides and all our times. Now, how is this useful? Besides the fact that I can just run it in my shell, but I'm not at my computer when I'm at the parks, right? Well, right now I am looking at what times I'm keeping track because I'm going in about two weeks and I'm keeping track of what times are busy times. Uh, so I am looking at this regularly and I can do it right in my terminal here. Uh, but now that I have this all in plain text and nicely formatted, I can use it in other aspects. So what I ended up doing was taking that script and then I went and I just Google searched HTML list templates just to get a nice looking list. There's this top one that came up for me uh, from freefrontend.com class or uh, 18 CSS uh, lists, free front ends. And I scrolled through here till I saw one that looked good and I liked the way this one looked. Here's what the demo looks like. And I took that, got rid of the information that is currently in there. And, uh, and then I also widened it because this is set to um, 490 pixels max. I set mine to, I think, like 80% of the screen. So this is what it looks like. And so I can scroll through here when I hover over it. And I set it so I think every five minutes it refreshes the list automatically. It says universal wait times. So this way I can give this link to my wife and me, and I'm going with my sister, and we can all have it on our phone without any proprietary software, don't have to go to that other website, and uh, in if I hit F12, I can hit mobile mode here, and this is what it looks like on my phone. I can scroll through them. Like I said, everything at Universal currently is closed because it's almost 8 o'clock, or it might be a little past 8 o'clock, uh, but Islands of Adventure, I think, is open until 9 currently at this time of year. So I hope that you found this useful. I hope that you check it out. And I hope that you have a great day. Please visit filmsbychris.com.